Hi guys, welcome to the new video of AG Framework. Today we are going to install the printer script present XT development. So first of all, it is a free script. You don't need to buy it from anywhere. First of all, you need to go to their official GitHub post. I will provide the link in description. After reaching through the GitHub link, just click on code section and download the latest zip and save it to your computer, then open the file. After opening the file, click on extract here. Here you can see the file, just copy it and paste it to your Superman directory. Here you can see, then open the printer file. Here you can see the configuration and install folder. First of all, go through the install section. Here you can see the images and also the item.lua. Just open the item.lua section. Here you can see the items for the OX inventory. Same goes for the QB. If you are having any issues with QB or OX installation, you can join my Discord. I will help you out without an issue. Just copy the item and paste it to your OX inventory data. Then item. Log after pasting it. Just save it and close the file and open the install folder again. Here you can find the images of the items. Copy it and same goes to the inventory. As I am using the OS inventory, I will paste it in web images section. It depends on your inventory. So use the images and also paste the item based on your inventory system. After that, open the printer file, go to the configuration section. Here you can file the SEER, Lua and configuration, open it. Here you can find the debug printer. If you are having any issue, you can enable the debug system. Another, just make it false. Max paper as allowed in printer. Like we can actually maintain the papers. I'll just make it 100 is enough. And same goes to the job section. If you are creating for a separate job or public, if you are using any job, you can select the rank which can access the, I will just make it default. I don't change anything. Open the server.lua. Here you can find the printer stash. Printer has their own stash. If you print something and go to the beyond range, it will store the printed document itself into the stash. So it was the main requirement for the stash. It's a default storage with around 50 and slots with 50, so you can change it easily without any issue. Now we'll go for the client section here. You can find the max copy. You can take the copies of one document. In max is 10 without any issue. Same goes to the printer model. You can add any printer model by default. I added the three default models. If you want to add any other model, you can add it without any issue. That's it. And also you can change the waiting for one page. Its default is set in one second. You can change it to 10 seconds easily. Just leave it on default if you don't want to change anything. That's it. You don't need to change, need to change anything about that. If you are having any issue, you can join my Discord. I will help you out if you like this video. It would be great for me to make some more free content for you guys. Let's install it and see how the script works in game. Hey guys here, you can see I am in game. So first of all, the printer script is working properly without any issues for opening the printer script menu. You have to try printers and you can see two options. First is the create new printer. And second is the view the established printers. As I have not done any printer work for now, so I need to create the new printer. Here you can see the three models of printer. It's, it's different. You can add more models in the config that I found you previously. I'll just use this printer model and you can place it anywhere. It's very easy to place. Just place E to place this. Here you can see the two options, job only and make it public. I'll just do the make it public. You can do also the job only section for PD, EMS, or any specialist job. I'll just for make it public. Here you can see the four options. First of all, first is the print option. Second is the get a copy of the print. And second is the printer stash. If you printed any document and you go far from the printer, it will directly store the printed document into the stash. And fourth is the paper and ink system. It's the paper and ink based on the printing system. You need to also refill the paper and ink. It's most realistic system on the way for an only first of all in to print our document. Just click on print there. You can see the title. I'll just do this title. And the discussion is test link. Here is the link. You can paste any link. I will suggest you paste your type of link. I'll just do this for the test. And here you can see it's printing. And it gave me the three copy of print. Here you can see it's my previous test also, where you can see the latest print also. So that's it. And one more thing here is the printer's task. If you want to store anything, you can store it. 
Same goes to the paper and ink system. Here you can see paper seven page, you can click on refill, but also, also the ink is 97%. You have the item for ink and also the paper. You can directly restore it without any issue. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If you are finding any issues, you can directly DM me on Discord or join my Discord channel. I'll help you out without any issue. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.